Okay, so I've come outside to um, harvest my woad plant. I found I've already finished, but um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you've got your plant here, and actually it grows, ends up growing really far out. Uh, and you want to avoid the stalks because there isn't as much woad in them. And you can just pick out the leaves. And I've harvested pretty much the whole plant here. Um, it's a bit like lettuce, it will grow back up again and you'll be able to do this a second time. So I come to the kitchen and I'm going to put my woad into some not quite boiling water, in fact it's between about 80 and 90 degrees C. I'm just going to tear it very gently uh, into small pieces, um, but not so small that they would, they would go through a colander. Um, and then I'm going to leave them in the boiling water for 10 minutes. So my woad has been at about 80 degrees for 10 minutes now and it looks really like it's not going to do anything. But don't be disheartened um, because the it kind of all comes together anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cool it down to 55 as quickly as I possibly can by putting it into some cold water. I'm going to keep stirring it just to get, get it down to 55. My woad has cooled down so I'm going to put it through the sieve. Okay next you want to take your um, soda ash or uh, what's it called? Uh, sodium carbonate and it looks like this is just white powder. I've got three teaspoons and I've put them into my cup and I'm just going to pour boiling water in them to dissolve them. So here we go. It's just a cup full of water, and once it's added to the um, to the rest of the liquid, it shouldn't uh, bring the temperature to up too much. That's dissolved. I'm going to throw it in, and we're going to watch the change in colour. At the moment, it's kind of a dull, misty brown colour. And when I throw it in, you'll see a very slight change in colour, slight change in smell. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to aerate it. So that's going to make the um, precipitate come out. So you're going to have a blue precipitate and a yellowish brownish liquid. Um, that's, so the, the blue will fall to the bottom. So this is the fun bit. We're going to um, use a hand uh, electric whisk to whisk up the mixture. And um, we should see quite a lot of foam building. Um, and we're going to do this for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and you might see a change. You might see the blue sitting on the edge of the flat foam. Uh, or you might see um, it going from green to blue to back to green. Again. I left my woad overnight, um, so now the precipitate has settled out of it. Um, so what we're going to do next is just pour away. Uh, you should be able to see it's slightly settled at the bottom, if you can't see that. There you go. Um, and so you're just going to pour away the top of the liquid from each of your jars. After you've taken off most of the liquid, you can start replacing it with water, which will wash it. And it will end up looking uh, a bit like this so you'll be able to just see the blue precipitate at the bottom of the clear liquid and then finally you can put it onto a piece of cling film i've just put it in a dish and um, you can let the excess water evaporate off and then this is the fun bit when you pick it up you can scrunch it all up and the little flakes of woad will come onto your uh, cling film and you can put it in a little bag ready for later. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do with my woad um, but when I do I'll make sure I make a video and show you what I've done. Good luck everyone, hope you do well. If you need any info information just leave a comment and I'll see if I can get back to you.